What is cracking, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about my brand new mask, the Bunker Kings CMD or Command. Call P for the water so they hit waves me. I'm lifting weights in the yay so the thick crazy. Way crash and kick with slick in a straight jacket. Same fabrics, why I sell? You stay lacking. I slay dragons, never wanted the same fashion. I could really make a dollar off straight jacket. I could really make a polymer. I've been using this mask for a little while now. I've gamed it twice. Um, I really wanted to wait until I actually gamed the mask to uh, give a review on it because obviously there's things that can change when you're actually in a gameplay environment versus just trying it on in your house. Real quick, just so you guys know, what is my relationship with Bunker Kings? Uh, they don't even know that I have this mask. Uh, they didn't sponsor the channel, didn't sponsor the video, nothing like that. Uh, the way I got this mask is I'm on the SAS Speed QB team and they are a sponsor of the SAS Speed QB team. So we do get a discount, um, they helped us out with that, but as far as my YouTube channel, my review, completely separate, uh, has nothing to do with Bunker Kings. Um, so I will be giving you guys my honest thoughts and uh, won't be talking this up any more than I need to. I don't know. You guys get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I think that's important just so you guys know. So the reason why I chose this mask was honestly mostly because of the SAS Speed QB team. Pretty well, they all run this mask. I went to that first Speed QB kind of try out the session with them almost, and they all looked dope. Um, and I was like, hmm, it might be a, a it might be a time to upgrade um, over my little fifty dollar mask. Uh, again, nothing really to complain too much about with this mask, but my lens is starting to chip like crazy. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try something totally different. Everyone runs a dye mask. And uh, I asked the SAS guys what they thought of these masks. They seemed to really like them, watched some YouTube reviews and was like, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. This is what I ended up getting. It's the Samurai colorway version. Um, it's got black and then like a lot of hints of gray. Uh, it did come with a smoked lens originally. I've got it in my little bag here. Bought this separately as well. Great purchase. If you're buying one of these masks, definitely get this bag. It's only like another $25 and uh, it will save your mask in the long term. And it's got a little pouch here for your spare lenses. So this is the lens it came with. Nice smoked, a really nice smoked lens and uh, it's not too dark, which I really, really like. Uh, it's got a nice little blue tint to it as well. Um, but yeah, I probably will end up throwing this back in at some point because I do think it looks pretty cool. Um, but I thought it was going to be too dark. So that's why I ended up purchasing a, uh, an extra lens with it. And this is like their purple and yellow combo. It's like a mirrored lens, but it's really lightly mirrored. So when we compare it to a lens like this, this one's really heavily mirrored. And I find when I'm playing indoors at CJ Airsoft, my local indoor field, this thing is like next to impossible to see in. Um, when I go in there, it's like, whoa, who turned out the lights? And then I'll look back at my like GoPro footage from the day and I'm like, was that the same place? <laughs> but it's just really dark. And I've played in there with clear lenses before too. And it, it is dark for sure. Um, so yeah, mirrored lenses, not the greatest for indoors typically. But this one, you can see your eyes slightly through it. Um, so if you're wanting that like completely ghosted look, totally get that, it's kind of intimidating. Um, you won't quite get that with this, but in bright sunlight, things like that, you won't even notice. And honestly, this lens is amazing. Like honestly, I feel like my vision hasn't really darkened that much at all. Um, it's the perfect amount just to take off that edge. Cause I feel like the design for these masks is to be used outside. That's the main purpose of these masks, which, you know, isn't a bad thing at all. I feel like I mainly play indoors, but um, yeah, definitely not a bad thing at all. Um, kind of why I say that is it's got this built-in visor. Of course, compared to the dye masks have nothing there. Um, and uh, yeah, can just take a bit of that sun out. I do find a little bit of sun does leak through the vents on the top. I've got my GoPro mount there, um, but uh, yeah, a little bit leaks through there, but it's nothing too concerning. I don't find my vision is getting ruined by that at all. Really the main thing about this mask that I love is the vents. Uh, a lot of people complain about this in the paintball world because uh, if you get shot in the mouth, uh, paint gets all over your face, which would suck 100%. But in Airsoft, we don't have to worry about that and no BBs are gonna be sneaking through here, I'll tell you that much. 
um, but it's got tons of ventilation. I found with this mask, um, definitely a little restrictive, not super restrictive, but definitely a little, um, but it would sit so close to my face that when I breathe, this part would get like all sweaty right in here. And when I would like talk, my mouth would like rub up against it and it was like super sweaty and gross. Um, so that was definitely a bit of a complaint, but this mask definitely sits a little further off and all that hot air just goes right out. Also for Speak QB, communicating with your team, super important. Uh, you can hear really well and you can communicate really well. That's kind of the big thing that they brag about these masks is the communication, which I totally agree with. There's no echo, nothing like that. So, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Honestly, another thing too, is actually getting shot in the lens. Um, really any other mask that I've used, even goggles, uh, they really ring your ears after you get shot in the lens. With this mask, I've already been shot in the lens multiple times and uh, honestly, it's like you're just getting hit in like a helmet or something like that. Like you don't really hear it echo which is honestly really nice. I used to find it really hurt my ears. Also the foam, something that you really need to talk about with these masks is so so far superior to uh, my FMA F1, which I know, again, it's not dye, so I can't compare it to that, but definitely love the foam in this. A lot of people say it's some of the best foam on the market. Uh, Bunker Kings is also with Virtue, uh, so they've been making masks for years and they know how to make some good foam. Uh, so definitely props there. Um, it's really soft and squishy, but it doesn't feel like it absorbs all the sweat. I always felt like this one, it's like kind of just like that cheap helmet foam almost. You get this like in a bike helmet as a kid. It just absorbs so much sweat, but this one really doesn't. Uh, it stays cool all day and uh, it's really nice. Also swapping out lenses, going back to that, super easy to do. Um, yeah, honestly, there's not really a lot of complaints with this. One thing that might bug some people is the flexibility of this uh, on the cheeks. For Airsoft, you can get down into your sights way easier. Um, but uh, yeah, if that's something you're not into, you want a stiffer mask, might not be the option for you, but I feel like most people definitely want that really flexy mask, which definitely this is flexy. I'll just show you here compared. It's like I can flex these wings completely in. And on this one, like they're as stiff as a board. But I will say with this one, I can still like shoulder my gun better just because it is a smaller mask. I do find I have to work to get my sight picture a little bit more with this mask. But honestly, I never use sights, so I don't really care. Honestly, really solid mask for the price. If you're wanting something that looks a little bit different from everybody else, everyone runs a dye mask. I don't know why, but I really like the unique look. I think it honestly looks cooler. It took a little while for me to to get used to the looks. I always thought this mask was like the coolest looking mask ever, but I do think I like the looks of this more now. Got lots of questions about it at the field. People are really interested and uh, I will be running this mask from now on. So really stoked about that. So if you're an airsoft player looking for a new mask, I think this is definitely a really great option. It's got everything you need and uh, I would suggest picking up the bag if you are going to get one as well for an extra 20 bucks. It's not that big of a deal and it will just protect your lenses so much more. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the mask in the comments down below. Do you like the look? Do you think the dye mask looks cooler? Are you sticking with your dye mask? Are you gonna try one of these out? What's your thoughts? Um, yeah, really interested to see what you guys think. But until then, we will see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome guys. Peace.